the breakthrough. I just prescribed the breakthrough. Y'all, he is a 10th degree black belt grandmaster and evangelist. He's preached in all 50 states and in 28 countries. He's been a college professor and voted into both the Black Belt and Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame. Give it up for Dr. Stan Harris! Come on now! Come on, give me some noise. All for Mastery Live. I'm trying to learn how to do content. Come on now. Let me hear y'all say breakthrough time. Come on, breakthrough time. All righty. Well, it's an incredible joy to be here. I tell you, have we had a great time? Yes, yes, or yes? How many of you notice when you're going to do anything in business, anything in life, especially when you really set your mind to it, it seems like there's all kind of opposition and barriers. Yeah. Raise your hand. Have you, you notice that? Say yes. yes. How would you like to learn a formula that you can break through any barrier that would try to hinder your success? Would you like to know that? Yes or yes? Yes. Would you like to know it now? Yeah. Would you like to know it right now? Yeah. <laughs> well, since you asked, <laughs> but serious, write this down real quick. I don't know if I'll get to it, but it just came to my spirit. It's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat while you're way on your way to being your own authentic cat. Ooh, come on, somebody. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's good, brother. Say that again. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I'm going to take you with me everywhere I go. I said, it's okay to be a copycat. Say it with me. It's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat. No, when I say it, you say it after, okay? Not with me, after me. I mean, this crowd is so into it, man. It's good. Say, it's okay to be a copycat. It's okay to be a copycat. As long as you copy the right cats. As long as you copy the right cats. While you're on your way to being your own authentic cat. You know, it's such a joy to be here. I got my ABCD with me. You say, what is the ABCD? Well, since you asked, ABCD stands for adorable brown caramel delight. That's my wife Nada. Could you stand, please, if you could just turn around, and wave at her? That woman's eye candy, brain food, spiritual refreshment in one package. I told her, I said, baby, your eyes are like caramels floating upon saucers of milk, and when I'm in your arms, everything's okay. Matter of fact, we were at the restaurant the other day. Guy said, would you like some dessert? I said, no, sir. I bought mine with me, 100% natural. Come on, somebody. <laughs> All for Mastery Live. I was in high school. A teacher named David McGarra stood up in front of the class and he made a statement that stopped me in my tracks. He said, treat the guy next to you real nice because one day you may need him to hire you. Now, when you're 16, you look at the guy next to you like, him hire me. But when he said that, it resonated with me. Question, what if I would have never made an offer to Dr. Myron Golden. We were backstage, he said, Doc, you know this is all because of you. I said, well, I appreciate your kindness, but no, it's 
You know, God obviously just works through us for his own purposes. I'm glad that he uses me though. Matter of fact, I want you to say out loud, repeat after me. In other words, I'm gonna say it, then you say it. <laughs> it's God's time, it's God's time to, shine to shine through me. Through me. See folks, the beginning of greatness is to be little. The increase of greatness is to be less. The perfection of greatness is to be nothing and owe to be nothing that he might be everything in and through me. Because when I try, I fail. But when I yield to him, he through me prevails. How are you ready to, that word prevail simply means have victory, overcome, and in my terminology, breakthrough. <laughs> so how am y'all ready to break through? Say, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. All righty, So again, I want to say I appreciate Myron. And as a matter of fact, um, <laughs> I, I'm glad I offered him what was offered to me. I was just being a debtor. And I'm glad I offered to my whole family and they received Christ. And I'm so glad that, you know, when my mother unfortunately passed away at just 49, I was only 30, she was 49 years of age. And one of my brothers, real tough guy, said to me with tears in his eyes, he said, Stan, mom's gone, but I wanna thank you. I'm like, thank me, what do you mean? He said, because well, I know she's in heaven and you told me about the Lord and I'll be in heaven. So although I'm hurting right now, I know I'm gonna see her again one day. The offer you don't make is the offer they can't what? Take. So I'm so glad. Matter of fact, we got a picture, y'all got a picture before I get in this breaking stuff. I wanna see, show a picture, Myron and I back in the day. Can we pull that up? Oh, oh, that, wait, wait, back up, back up, back up, back up. Well, let's start, start there. Don't laugh, that's me. So in a short time, I'm gonna to speak to you real briefly on every master was once a mess. Therefore, every mess can one day be a master. Oh my God, they ain't getting this. I'm gonna say it again. I said every, help me out. Every what? Master was once a mess. Therefore, every mess can one day be a by the way, when a mess becomes a master, you now have a message that if you market and offer to the masses, you can make millions. I, I, I'm gonna come on this side, I'm gonna come on this side. I, I said whenever a master, a mess becomes a master, you now have a message that if you market or offer to the masses, you can make millions. Every speaker up here, that's been the story without you realizing it. So that was me when I started. I tripped over my own feet. They called me Mr. Baboon. They laughed at me. And so I was a little bit like mine. I said, laugh all you want to because one day I'm gonna whoop all y'all. That was a bad attitude, but it sure came true. <laughs> But I want, see, this is the way your offer looks right now. But after going through Offer Mastery Live, come on somebody, and ready to implement what you've learned, that's called when I was voted into the Black Belt Hall of Fame for the first time. The same guy used to trip over his own feet. The same guy that when I was six years of age, a gang of teenagers came my way grabbed me, beat me up, slammed me down in the middle of a field. I was six years old, just six. The guys, they start stomping on me like I'm an ant or a roach. I'm crying out for help. They start kicking all over me, punching all over me. I'm a six, I'm screaming, I'm bleeding from everywhere you can bleed. You would think that was enough. That wasn't enough for these guys. They took a, flipped me over on my back, face up, took a great big old bucket of tar, they poured it on my face, poured it on my body, took a bunch of feathers, threw them on me, and left me there, literally to die. Thank God somebody found me, rushed me to the hospital. But my life was a mess. My life was a what? Yes. My life was a mess? Yes. <laughs> I want to see if he's with me. You might be here today and your finances might be in a mess. 
your relationship might be in a mess. Your spiritual life might be in a mess. Or you might be like me, I can't even get this thing working right. Can one of y'all come back here and help me? <laughs> Can somebody come from back there? Oh, he's, somebody's coming. Can you do it on both of the belts so it stay together? That's the beautiful thing about teamwork. By the way, write down Dr. Breakthrough's acronym for team. I'm, I'm not talking about it, but it's good. T-E-A-M, together everyone accumulates money. <laughs> Help me out, say it with me, ready? Team, together everyone accumulates money. How many of y'all ready to put together a money team? Yeah. Is that good? All right, thank you very much. So again, that's your offer. But the more you work on it and practice, it becomes like this. Let's keep on going, please. Next one. I don't know, do you know who this guy is? <laughs> What's his name? Hi. What's the next one? Come on. I, I, I saw Della Torre putting up pictures. I said, let me do this. <laughs> Can y'all see this guy right here? That's Myron. Okay, is there another one? So I want you to see this. See these plaid pants? Do y'all know who's that guy with the plaid pants? That's Dr. Myron, Freddie Golden. <laughs> when he was a mess. <laughs> I was just a little further along in my mess hood, but, but anyway. And that's the very first time, I think 45 years ago, first time I ever did a demonstration in a church and spoke. And when I was done breaking the bricks, I don't have them now, now because I'm trying to make sure Myron invites me back. <laughs> I lay on the bed of nails, put 150 pounds of bricks on my stomach, then Myron took that sledgehammer and broke it off. And after they did that, I, I was just a teenager, but when I got up, they said, whatever you say, man, we with you, whatever you say. <laughs> do you have another one or is that it? Or do you have a video? What do you got? The champ is here! Come on, champ keep it playing. The champ is here! The champ is here! The All right, thank here. you, thank you, thank you. So, they, they wouldn't let us put them on fire in here, so I just wanted to show you that's what I normally do. Okay. <laughs> so help me out. What does this say right here on this board? Limiting? Come on, talk to me a little louder. What? Okay, speak so loud over here that they over here hear you. We're, what does it say? Believe. Speak so loud over here they hear you over here. Believe. Right in the middle of the word beliefs is a three-letter word called a lie. And so whenever there's lies we believe in, we live a very limiting lifestyle. When there's lies we believe in, guess what? We build very limiting relationships. When there's lies we believe in, my friend, guess what? We have limiting income. When there's lies we... And most of my life, my friend... I was living based off of lies. They were beliefs or be lives. Beliefs based on the lie. Jeremiah 7, 8. You trust in lying words which cannot profit. Which is so good because if that's the truth, if you just flip it instead of trusting lying words that cannot profit, if you trust in the truth, you can only profit. How many are ready to only profit? Say, I'm ready. So we got to learn to break through the lies that we've been believing in because most of our belief system, listen, my friend, is based on how we came up. Now, B.F. Skinner had it half right, but he was mostly wrong. He said, you're a product of your environment. Well, if that was really true, then Adam and Eve could have never messed up. You're not necessarily a product of your environment. Get this. You're a product of the environment of your mind. You're a product of your empowerment. And so I decided instead of being a product of my environment, I would be a product of my empowerment. And obviously you did the same thing or else you wouldn't be here. So give yourself a hand because you decided you want to be a product of your empowerment. Come on now. So instead of limiting beliefs, how about we go to limitless what? Success. Help me out. Limitless what? Success. So who wants to live based on limiting beliefs Nobody wants that. But who on the other hand wants to live based on limitless success? Say me. me. 
Well, Joshua 1, 8, this book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Here's why. That thou may observe to do according as all that is written therein. Then thou, not God, thou shalt make who? Thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have good success. That's the only time success is mentioned in the Bible. Do you realize I don't on me one day that success is in my own hand? So instead of living by the lies, and bear, by the way, growing up where we grew up in the hood, the, some of y'all know what hood mean, not neighborhood. Like, <laughs> and, all my, and back in the 60s, the turbulent 60s, and I told you what I went through. And by the way, I tried to commit suicide on two occasions before I was ever 12 years of age. Physically abused and verbally abused and sexually abused and obviously racially abused. As a matter of fact, I really thought that I could never amount to be anything. One day I heard a poem that helped me. Can I give you that poem? Yes. Fleecy locks and black complexion cannot forfeit nature's claim. Skin may differ, but affection dwells in black and white the same. Rise so tall as to reach the pole or to glance at the ocean at a span. I must be measured by my soul. The mind is the standard of a man. And all of a sudden it dawned on me. It's not the color of my skin, the texture of my hair or where I grew up. All of a sudden it dawned on me, my friend, is what, get this now, what you put in your head that affects your heart determines what comes to your hand. And if you want more coming to your hand, you've got to put more in your head that affects your heart. Come on, say it with me. What you put in your head that affects your heart determines what comes to your hand. And if you want more coming to your hand, you've got to put more in your head that affects your heart. And that's why I write books, and that's why I do coaching, that's why I travel, that's why I do the things I do. And so right now, I'm going to break this, my friend. And when I break this, I want it to symbolize that we're breaking through the lies, all the lies, whatever lie it is, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm, whatever the lie is, my friend, I'm not trained enough, I don't have enough degree, whatever the lie is, we're going to break through those. And when I break this physically, it's symbolically of an impartation that's about to drop on you, my friend, that you're going to break through every lie. Every lie, every, you dumb kid, you'll never be about to be anything. You're about to break through that lie. Come on, somebody. So let me hear you say breakthrough time. No, no, no. You got to talk to me like this is all for mastery live. What time is it? Yeah. Come on, somebody. We just broke the limits right of our beliefs. Come on now. Come on now. This is not about a board. This is about what's in your head, my friend, that shouldn't be there. This is about the lies that have been implanted in your head that, my friend, right now we just broke through. How? Now, I got three of them this time. By the way, if you want a broken board, I signed them already so you don't get me afterwards. But anyway, by the way, I was speaking at a, man, 20 years ago at a uh, college and a gentleman came up after I was done. He said, when well, you talked about that little kid that, that board hit in the head, he said, that was me 20 years ago. I said, yeah, right. He said, hold on, he ran upstairs, came back with the board that I'd signed 20 something years previously. He said, it must've knocked some sense in my head because I'm in the ministry now, I'm studying now. <laughs> but anyway, so the first time I did, I had one board. I was pointing toward the audience. I meant well, I just thought it was gonna break. Now in martial arts, we always yell. We call that a Kia, a loud yell or groan. People say, why do you yell? It hurts. No, just joking, okay. <laughs> I had that board, I went, Kia! Bam. Now here's the thing, if you hit it just right, it breaks rules. Man, it looks like a piece of cake. If not, it just goes flying. That time I was off center a little bit, it just went flying. Little kid out there, ooh, pow. That's why I'm glad I'm an evangelist, I left town. But anyway. <laughs> and then I was at this church, and I did it this way, and they had a beautiful stained glass window. They had. I watched, I watched the board in my love offering go right out the window, but anyway. But, but help me out, that says what? Ego, come on, what does it say? 
Everything God opposes. Help me out. What does it say? Ego. Get this now. Edging God out. Ego edging greatness out. Ego edging growth out. I don't know about you. I don't want to edge greatness out. I don't want to edge growth out. I want all the growth I can get. How about you? So when someone's speaking and you've been here, sometimes people are tempted to say, well, I already know that. But the situation is if we know something that we're not doing, we don't really know it. So sometimes you got to hear something seven times, seven different ways from seven different people before you get it. I'm just glad for somebody today, I'm going to be that seventh person. Come on now. So we're going to break through the ego and that that now allows us to learn from other people. Because that guy, Myron, that I used to mentor and coach, by the way, I was his teacher in Bible college and he quit, but we forgave him because he made millions and helped others make millions. (laughs) By the way, let me, Pastor Mike, are you... I'm not going to pull you up. Just stand up for a minute. Just wave everybody. Pastor Mike Golden. Just look back there. That's, that's Myron's brother. There. Come on. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. You're talking about some, I've never met somebody with, without an ego. Like this guy is so humble. I mean, seriously. And I was blessed to be able to, you know, have influence over him in his life and be one of the instructors in college. And then he became my pastor. Are y'all listening? Y'all better treat people right. You just don't know what's going to happen. And then he pastored my family. I'm saying, listen, my friend, and one of the best pastors I've ever been with in my life. You're talking about caring. You're talking about loving. You're talking about studying the word and staying. I mean, give Brother Mike a hand. I mean, praise God for him. Thank you, Brother Mike. He's probably going to be upset with me, but I'm a 10th degree black, but I don't care. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. Let me hear you say breakthrough time. We're going to break through our egos. Let me hear you say breakthrough. I better move over here. <laughs> Make sure. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, here, let me turn this way just a little bit. Okay, breakthrough time. No, no, you got to give me some energy. Breakthrough time. We're time, breakthrough time. Yeah. I didn't hit it right. See that? Somebody grab it for me real quick. Let's bring it again. See, y'all thought I was joking, didn't you? Hurry, hurry, hurry. That ego's a hard thing to break through. But remember when you give an offer, sometimes you got to get it a second time and a third time and a fourth time and a fifth time and you got to tweak it and you got to do it again and do it again. So here we go. Come on, breakthrough times. Come on, breakthrough times. Breakthrough time. Well, looks like that one. Breakthrough time. All right. All right, what does that say? Within your pain is hidden power. I used to pray for God to take all the pain out of my life, and yet he wanted it in my life. So jot this down. When you learn to grow through whatever you're going through, you ensure your breakthrough. Let me say it again. When you learn to grow through, instead of doing like I was doing, griping and, and complaining, when you learn to grow through what you're going through, you ensure and speed up your breakthrough. Who's ready to speed up the breakthrough? Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So I'm going to take my head. When I was little, mama called me a name. Hard-headed. I got married. My wife says, your mama had a point. So I'm going to take my head like this and come down. Bam! And I'm going to hit these five boards. They are supposed to break. If they do not break, I will yell a second time. That will not be a Kia. Call the ambulance. Pain. Within your pain 
is hidden power. And you can harness that power to create profits. So everybody with a phone, get your phone out just in case for some reason. No. All right. Could I pray real quick? <laughs> Father, thank you for this time. I pray for your strength. More importantly, I pray people will not be impressed with me, but they will have an endowment of power from on high. In your name I pray. All God's people said? Amen. What are we going to do with pain? We're going to what? Break through. What are we going to do with pain? We're going to what? So I'm going to come up and yell that yell is called Kia, and then I'm going to come, bam, and hit him. So breakthrough, take breakthrough times. Come on, breakthrough time. Louder, breakthrough times. Come on, somebody. What are we going to do with our pain? Breakthrough. I said, what are we going to do with our pain? We're not going to back down. We're going to break through. And God, I need five big strong men come up here and three strong ladies to come on up here. On the platform, it's okay. On the stairs, on the, on the stairs, on the side. On the side. Can I get three, three ladies? Can I get three ladies? Okay. All right. That's a little more than three, but that's okay. I'm glad you're such an eager crowd. No, no, we'll, we'll leave them, we'll leave them. See, they didn't know what I was gonna do. All right, seriously, here's what we're gonna do. Each one of them, as hard as they can, I'm gonna let them punch me in the stomach, and I promise I won't hit them back. Now, if you hit too low, my wife's right there, she's packing. But we gotta do this quick though, okay? So hard as you can, make sure you keep your wrist tight. And if you're a martial artist, if you can kick straight, I'll let you kick. I'll, I'll kick you. Okay. <laughs> what kind of kick do you have? Whatever you can do straight. Straight. Whichever one you can do that's straight. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with this young lady first. Yes, sir. Okay. And then you'll be next, you'll be next, and then we'll go over there. Okay, everybody. So hard as you can, just keep it tight. Okay. But, is that? Okay. I don't want you to break your nail. Okay, fine. Hit him hard. Come on. Hard as you can. Come on. Yeah, thumb out. Thumb. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hard as you can. Didn't touch you. Give her a hand. That's good. Hurry up, hurry. Keep it hard. Hard as you can. Yes. Come on. Yes, yes. Hurry up. We got to go. My time. See, when you make an offer like that, nobody takes you. No. Come on. Really, really, I really want it. Harry. Really, really yeah, 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 really. Yes. Yeah, I want it. I want it now. Come on. You want it now? Yes. Yeah. All right, give her a hand. All right, hurry, come on. Keep it tight. Okay, okay. Come on, girl. Give her a hand. Okay, so do a slow motion first. Slow motion. Okay, all right, we'll stand like this. <laughs> Take practice first. Practice? Yes. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, wait, wait, wait. Did, did he kick me already? Come on, give a hand. Thank yes. you, thank thank you. You. Okay, young lady. Yeah, hurry, 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 keep it tight. Is that good? Or another? Go ahead. Hey, give her a hand. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Keep it tight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight. Come on. Go on, give him a hand. Well, I got to build myself up for you. Hold on. 
Keep it tight, keep it tight. Come on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Come on, man. You want me to punch Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, Just hurry up. <laughs> Give my hand. Come on, next one. Hurry. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. All right, well, give him a hand anyway. Come on, big guy. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Come on now. Is that it? They, what, you wasn't hitting your girlfriend, man. Come on, don't do that. No, I'm, I'm, I apologize. Okay. No, just keep it tight. Keep it real tight. Come on. Thank you, good. All right, give him a hand. Who else is next? Yeah, come on. And who's next? You're next, and then you. Okay. Are we having fun yet? Yeah. I'm going to teach you something in a minute. If I live through this, okay. Keep it tight. Oh. Give him a hand. Keep it tight. Wait, wait, wait. Is there somebody else before him? <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. Did we pray? Okay. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Come on, give him a hand. Now, just stay up here for a minute. I'm going to teach you one of the most powerful things I've ever learned in my life. When I was a six-year-old boy, and I told you the guy hit me in the stomach, knocked the air out of me, I fell to the ground. I've now been hit over a million times. And with these folks here, now if you notice when they hit me, instead of my body absorbing a shock, it bounced back on their hand or they bounced to the side. Did you notice that? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to have to sit down for this one. This is so good. The thing right now that's knocking the air out of you in your business, the thing that's knocking the air out of you in your relationships, in your offering, the thing right now that's knocking the air out of you in your life, I got good news. You can grow you can practice, you can get stronger so that the same thing that used to knock the air out of you bounces right off. Oh, come on, somebody. See, that's what this conference is all about. Every speaker, my friend, everything, every offer. Listen, my friend, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger in the same thing that used to knock the air out of you three months from now, four months from now, my friend, five months from now. If it takes a year from now, you'll be able to stand there and say, is that the hardest you can hit life? Hit me again. Still standing. So let's give them a hand again. Thank you very much. But tell you what, wait, 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 before you go. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14, okay, I, 14. I, I think I only got 12 boards. So, it, each one, whoever can grab a board, go and grab one. As many as you are left. Okay, grab if there's enough for everybody. Here, are we having fun yet? Yes. All righty. Yeah. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. These folks is waiting. Okay, everybody's, everybody has a board. Everybody's got at least one. All right? Everybody's got at least one. Okay, each one of these boards represent things that maybe try to hinder us, hinder our offer, and we're going to break through them. First one says, right, what does that say? Impossible. Come on, louder. What does it say? Impossible. Put a space between the M and the P, and now it says what? I'm possible. Say it again. I'm possible. See, impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men and women. Impossible 
is not a fact, it's a dare. Impossible is just an opinion. Impossible is nothing. So the hard we do now, the impossible takes a little longer. Being what? Oh, come on, talk to me. Being what? Passing over opportunities repeatedly. Mm. Putting obstacles over riches. Mm. Only difference between a rich man and a poor woman is one came to an obstacle and they said, it's too big. It's too hard. It's too wide. And the other one said, I'm going over it. I'm going around it. I'm going under it. I'm going to learn from Dr. Breakthrough and break right through it, but that's not stopping me. And the opposite of poor, help me out real loud, is what? <laughs> I said real loud, the opposite of poor is what? R-I-C-H, raking in cash happily. The opposite of poor is what? Residual increase, compliments happiness. I was already happy, but now money in my, oh, come on somebody. So we're going to break through that being poor so we can get rich. By the way, this one says others' negative opinion. Help me out. What does it say? <laughs> Les Brown and I were speaking in the UK, and usually I speak first, and he speaks this time. They had him speak first, and he spoke eloquently about other people's negative opinion. He said, don't allow it to become your reality. Afterwards, we were talking after. I said, Les, that was so powerful. That was so great. But I think I got something that might be a little bit even better. He said, Doc, what you got? I said, instead of not letting other people's negative opinion become our reality, how about if we only allow God's opinion to become our reality? Because he says, I'm an overcomer. And overcomer doesn't mean nothing comes against me. It just means everything comes against me. I just come over it. <laughs> Hello, somebody. So we got to break through that. Next thing says lack of what? See, the main thing that changed my, I thought I wanted to learn martial arts to protect myself, but really they said, no, we got to teach you discipline. I don't want discipline. I want to learn self-defense. They said, no, you got to learn self-discipline first because if you don't, you'll be like an uncontrollable weapon. So I said, okay, whatever it is that I learn, just teach it. The self-discipline changed my life. See, people are disciplined. They do what they're supposed to when they feel like it. They do it when they don't feel like it. They just do it until they do feel like it. Help me out. They do it when they what? Feel like it. They do it when they don't. They just keep doing it until they do. So they just make offers when they... No, start off. They make offers when they feel like it. They make offers when they... They just keep making more offers until they... Come on now. This one says what? Now here's what happens. Unsuccessful people, they doubt their beliefs, and then they start believing their doubts. Successful people, we learn to doubt our doubts and then believe our beliefs. I was about to speak something, said, man, they don't really, they're not really gonna be into you. I'm, I doubt that one. Some said, man, one of them guys gonna hit you and hurt you. I doubt that one. Are y'all with me? Yeah. See, you gotta learn to talk to your doubts out loud. Come on, out loud, let me hear you say, doubt, I doubt you. All righty. Okay, can I get a battery for this or no? Because, because, exactly. <laughs> I need everything for this one. And how many times do you feel this way, my friend? So guess what? It's not about you being good. It's about you trusting in a God who's good and who uses ordinary people. Hello. I was reading through the Bible trying to find somebody perfect. I couldn't find them. Everybody, everybody was, a, a, they was a mess. And God, but when they surrendered, he made them a master. Hello. So we got to break through that. Procrastinate what? Nation. The largest nation in the world are those who procrastinate. Procrastination leads to devastation. Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. Thus, you must act now. And the reason we procrastinate is because we're good people. We don't, we don't want to make a mistake. So here's the breakthrough thought. You don't have to get your offer right. You just have to get it going. Because once you get it going, God will help you get it right. 
Version one may not be the best, but version one is 10,000 better than version none. And I first wrote this book, there were some errors in it. And people bought it and were still blessed. So then I did a version two. People got even more blessed. And I still found a few things. Then I did a version three and more people got it. And they got blessed. And I still found one more. Are y'all with me? Yeah. You know what I mean? People would not have been blessed. Like, well, I gotta, now it's gotta be perfect. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. When you get it going, you'll be able to get it right. Oh, oh time's running out. What does it say real quick? Jesus. Tools of incompetence used to build mountains of nothingness, and those that subscribe to them seldom ought to be anything. You're either going to make excuses or make progress. You can't make both. You're going to make excuses or make offers. You can't make both. You might as well make the offer. Come on, somebody. I was so good at making excuses, I was in what I call denial. Let me give you my acronym for denial. Are you ready? Don't even notice I am lying. Wow. Wow. Lying is bad, but when you lie to yourself and believe yourself, that's real bad. <laughs> try. No such thing as try. The try is the lie. Mm. The try is to give your spirit an excuse when uh, I, did, I try. No, commit. By the way, grow up from being the try baby to a committed man. Don't bow your head, ain't time to pray yet, okay. What does that say? I used to have a comfort zone where I knew I could not fail. The shameful walls and busy work were really more like jail. I longed so much to do the things I'd never done before, but stayed inside my comfort zone and paced the same old floor. I said it didn't matter that I wasn't doing much. I said I didn't care for things like diamonds, cars, or such. I claimed to be so busy with the things inside my zone, but deep inside I longed for some sweet victory of my own. I couldn't let my life go by just watching others win. I held my breath and took a step to let the change begin. I took a step and what new strength I never felt before, I kissed my comfort zone goodbye and close and lock the door. If you are in a comfort zone afraid to venture out, remember that all winners were at one time filled with doubt. A step of two and words of praise can make your dreams come true. So greet your future with a smile. Success is there for you and your breakthrough is on the other side of your comfort zone. Are you ready to go get it? Say yes. Yes. And then low esteem. Now, I didn't say low self-esteem because self is based on self. When you do good, you feel good. When you do terribly, no, no. You got low. You need what Myron was talking about, God esteem. When you realize who you are, as a matter of fact, listen to this carefully. You are a masterpiece. Look at the person next to you and say, you may not know it, but I'm a masterpiece. And tell them three reasons why. Number one, say, because I'm a piece of the master. Number two, I'm a product of the master. Number three, I'm the priority of the master. The master. The, oh, come on, I can't walk with my head down when I realize who I am. If a master touches a painting and make, guess who, everything else he made one way. And listen, my friend, but when he came to you, he, very own hands, reached down and formed you and I in our mother's womb and then <laughs> breathed the breath of life. See, he's not the great I was or the great I used to be. He's the great I am and he always will be. And he wants to use you. So when I realized that, like, you use me, I had no idea what mine was going to be doing all this. You, you use me? I married this beautiful woman. I was like, you use me? <laughs> hey. <laughs> been able to speak to over five million people across the world. Me, little kid jumped tarred and feathered, little kid physically and verbally and sexually abused, me, from the hood together. You better realize something. If you just surrender, you'll use you. And then fear, false expectation appearing real. Fear, former experiences affecting reality. But I tried the offer before, yeah, but now you're going to tweak a little bit and retry it with a different heart. By the way, fear, forgetting everything's all right. Before Satan could get to Job, 
God had to remove the hedge. And God had to give him permission. So nothing can happen to you unless God already has another plan. Okay, the past. The past is not equal to present unless you allow it. So real quick, each one of you, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Now everybody, audience, help me out. Do, do not use thumbs, folks. I don't know why they get broken. Okay, no thumbs. So you're going to use the palm of your hands. So audience, help them out. Number one, you're going to use the what? Number two, you're going to lock your arms out. Some of you like this, some of you like this. Number two, they're going to do what? And then number three, you're going to have one foot behind you, okay? This is sounding weird. Okay, number three, they're going to have what? One foot what? Behind. Okay, all righty. Uh, okay, so each one of you, let me, I'll show you here in just a minute. So you turn yours this way, good. And uh, let's get you over here. Well, now you're pretty big. I'm, getting, I'm saving you from the end. <laughs> okay, you're over here, right, right next, side by side. I'm gonna break yours at the same time. Yeah. Top, bottom, top, top, bottom. Good. Okay, and then you, ma'am. Let's see. Yours is gonna be like this. Okay. You're gonna be over here. Tilt it down. You're gonna be right over here in between these two. Right there. Good. You're just going to be up higher. Just pull your glasses off for safety's sake. Okay. Take them. Yeah. Okay. Let's put them in this Never hit a lady with glasses on. Take them off. I'm, jo I'm joking. Okay, move over a little bit. Okay, do not go home and try this, okay? You're going to be on the angle, just like this. Foot back. Okay. And then you two were together, right? So let's switch you, you two together. Right, side by side. And then one more, oh, two more. Okay, then you here, right? And then you're like this. Okay, you're like this. And then, right, no thumbs. Bam. Uh, you come down here. On your knees. Pray, brother. Come on down. Yeah. And just straight up like that. Okay. Up. Okay, turn this way a little bit. Good. No thumbs, no thumbs. Okay, relax for now, but when I tell you. Okay. So we went through, so we went through everybody. You see, so you're on the angle, right? And you're side by side, right? And you're right next. And you're here. Let's see here. And you're here. And you're like that. And you're top and bottom. Yes. And you're like that. And he's going to be like that. Okay, here we go. Do not go home and try this. Do not go home and try this. Okay, let's go through a slow, then we'll do it for real. We're going to break through this. Remember, as I break through these, we're going to, this is a symbol. We're breaking through everything that's been trying to hinder us. Okay? We're breaking through all these things. Every last one of them. Top, bottom. Right? Okay, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Okay, breakthrough time. Come on, breakthrough time. One more time, breakthrough time. All right. Okay, my time is out. I got one more thing I want to do. I got a few business cards. Somebody out there. <laughs> Time is out. Okay. One more thing. Oh. 
Do not go home and try this. Are we having fun yet? Yes. Hello. Okay. He said, keep going. I think I better work my way up to that. She got one more thing. If we can handle this. You know, when you get in your 60s, it's not as easy as it used to be. This is something I used to think was impossible. As long as I thought it was impossible, it was. One day I said, if somebody else is doing it, maybe if I learn, get a different mindset, get a mentor, learn some methods, maybe. Do not go home and try this, especially if you have dentures. What time is it? See, if you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you done out, you won't. If you like to win but think you can, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you will lose, you've already lost. For this powerful truth we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man, but sooner or later those who win are those who first think and then know they can. And here, my friend, we know you can. Let me hear you say, I can. I can. Let me say, hear you say, I can. I can. Let me hear you say, I will. I will. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Yes, I. Come on now. against us, what are we going to do? I need two people who have never broken a board and know they can't. Two people who never broke a board and you know you can't. Come on. You. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait. I only got, I said two. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, ho, ho, ho. Okay. So I only got two. Wait, you're a little guy. We're gonna take the little guy and we're gonna take the young lady, I apologize. And this is how we close out. Because what happens after you watch is now your turn, right? So real quick, you've never broken a board before, correct? Okay, come over here. Until now. So, we're gonna make it the easiest possible. The palm of your hands, okay, this part here. We're gonna come straight up, right down in the middle. The middle is the least resistance, okay? Now I want you to imagine somebody, you have any children? 
Do you have children? Do you have a brother, a sister, a mom, or somebody you love? Yeah. It's a picture of the person trying to mess with them. I want you to think about them as that person. Okay. Get mad and hit that thing. Right. Right before you hit it, you're going to yell. A key out. It's a loud yell of groan. Kia. Come down. Wham. Now, don't hit the board. I need you to come three inches below the board. It's going to break so easy, it's going to be like a piece of cake. Okay, foot up here, left foot, you're right-handed? Yeah. Hurry up, left foot here. Uh, here? Yep, no, no, oh. off to the side. <laughs> and then here. So I need you to come straight up and straight down, not an angle. Straight, straight up. up and straight down. Okay. So come up closer, with, yes. Right here in the middle. Try to keep your fingers together. Okay. Right there. So just touch it for now, touch it. In the middle. Come on, say breakthrough time. Come on, break through time. Shred down. Yeah! Hi, young man. Do you have the martial arts training? Okay. He's a little guy. We're going to give him a little extra help here. Not that he needs it. How old are you, young man? Eight. An eight-year-old jumped up before many of you. Now, I'm going to have you use your foot. So stand up on the brick, okay? Now, what I'm going to have you do is come up. Let's pull this off for a minute. This right part here. I need you to come down with the heel, okay? So act like it's an ant or a roach. You're going to stomp that thing, okay? but I need you to stomp all the way to the ground with a yell. Let me hear you yell, just yell. Let me hear you yell. Let me hear you yell, say Kia. Kia. No, no, louder, say Kia. Kia. Like you mad, say Kia. Kia. Okay, now you're gonna come up with a loud yell and go all the way through, everybody. Come on, say breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Come on, breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Come on, Kia. Kia. Hey. Here you go. Come on, give me a hand. So, so if we could teach them to do that in a few seconds, what could we teach you to do? God bless you. So, Myron, I got, can I tell a two minute story? No, okay, two minute story. Can I get two minute story? So, there's a, since Myron talked about eagles, Dan Henry criticized, no, just joking. Just let Dan Henry know, we, he and I are brothers. So, little eagle was up in the nest. A little different story. Look down, a little too far. Oh, boom. Oh, uh, he's down on the ground. And all of a sudden, here come a bunch of tur uh, turkeys. And the one in charge, they call him the head gobbler. And the head gobbler said, hey, you turkey, get in line. Nah, man, I ain't no turkey. I'm a little, I'm a little eaglet. Head gobbler took his wing, whack, hit him upside the head. He said, I said you're a turkey. All right, man, okay, okay, I'm a turkey. And so all of a sudden, he said, you do what the rest of us turkeys do. You just follow us. Now, the difference between a turkey and an eaglet, the eaglet has these talons and it's hard for him to walk. So he was getting behind and the head gobbler would walk up to him and Whack! Hit him upside the head. You turkey, keep up with the rest of us. He said, I'm doing my best. That ain't good enough. So, he's doing his best. He's doing his best. And all of a sudden, he looks up. Wow. He sees a beautiful bald eagle. And next thing you know, whack! <laughs> oh, my goodness, what? The head gobbler said, what are you doing? He said, I was looking at a beautiful bird. He said, that ain't a beautiful bird, that's a buzzard. It's a dirty, rotten, no good 
buzzard. As long as you live, don't you ever let me catch you looking up there at that buzzard again. That's a dirty bird. That's a nasty bird. It's a buzzard. He said, okay, just don't hit me, man. Just don't hit me. And they came to a T in the road. The story's a little longer, but time is out. The turkeys went to the left. He went to the right because he thought that's where they went. And all of a sudden, he comes and he hears this noise. Who? Who? He says, hey, who are you? He said, I'm a wise old owl. Who are you? I'm a turkey. <laughs> and I said, what'd you say? He said, I'm a turkey. He said, what are you talking about? You're a bald eagle. He said, oh, no, no, not me. He said, you're the king of the birds. Oh, no, 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 not me. I'm a turkey. He said, who told you you was a turkey? He said, head gobbler told me so. He said, man, head gobbler lied to you. Matter of fact, he said, I'll tell you what. I want you to look up right now because I want you to see what you are. He said, oh, no, I can't look up. I can't look up. I can't look up. He said, why? He said, head gobbler said, he'll get me. He said, if you don't tell head gobbler, I won't tell him either. Take a peek. Without exaggeration, he looks up. There's a beautiful bald eagle flying. On his face gets a scowl. Buzzard! Dirty, rotten, no good, buzzard! And the house said, man, somebody done messed you up bad. <laughs> he said, that's not a buzzard. That's the king of birds. He said, no, head gobbler told me. He said, head gobbler, he'll lie to you about a bunch of other stuff as well. He said, just take a look at the majestic flow of that bird. Forget head gobbler, what he said. Look at it objectively. And he said, you know what? It does look kind of pretty. And it does look kind of majestic. As a matter of fact, that is a powerful bird. That's incredible. And the owl said, guess what? He said, what? He said, that's what you are. He said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm just a, I'm just a turkey. He said, he said, by the way, what are you doing down here? He said, what do you mean, what am I doing down here? Said, we just flutter our wings. He said, no, no, no. You got to get up there where you belong. He said, no, no, no. I, I'm not like that bird. He said, yes, you are. He said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at that bird, keep your eye on that bird, and I want you to say, I was an eagle. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. And so he said, I, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a eagle. I, I was made to fly. No, no, you got to say it with conviction. He said, look at that bird and say, I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. He said, I'm an eagle. I, I was made to fly. Um, that's okay, but you got to say it a little stronger. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. He said, come on, say it loud. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. Come on, help the little bird out. Say it. I'm an eagle. I was made. To, come on, say it again. I was an eagle. I was made. He said, now keep your eyes on that bird and start flapping. He said, oh, it hurts. I don't care how much it hurts. He said, just keep flapping. Keep saying I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. Come on, help him out. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. Oh, it hurts. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. Come on. I'm an eagle. I was made to fly. And he took off. And he started flying, and he never came back down again. And that little eaglet that thought he was a turkey was my story, my friend. But thank God a wise old owl said, you're not a turkey. You men wasn't made to walk around like this. You was made to fly. You was made to soar. Put your eyes on that bird. Start flapping. It's going to hurt. Keep flapping. And take off and fly. You're an eagle. You were made to fly.